up guys legion here in this video i will show you how to get started in crypto valley the new hot game on the new hot uh, network blast everyone says uh, it gives them uh, defy kingdom vibes and that game was bigger than uh, the network it was built on of course not financial advice but let me show you how to get into this little yield farming game I usually make uh, Pixels Online videos, a game on run-in, uh, but this uh, cute little farming game got my attention and I had to make a small tutorial for it. So, first of all, uh, you need a MetaMask or an Ethereum wallet that can use Blast Network, and you need to transfer some Ethereum on Blast. Uh, the second link in the description of this video has uh, Orbiter.Finance, is the cheapest way I found to transfer funds from Ethereum to Blast. Just connect to wallet, change network here to Blast and uh, send some funds. You need uh, to pay gas fee here. It's around 20 cents from what I saw per transaction. If you are not sure how much to bridge, I did a little math for you guys. So you don't bridge seven times. Of course, not financial advice. First, see how the game is, but I would start with enough money to have at least seven to nine uh, seed rolls. We will go through why that uh, later a bit. Plus five dollars to have for guests on Blast, plus uh, the bridge cost. It's around four dollars. And the seven to nine rolls will uh, cost depending on how much uh, you want to invest here. Like if you just want to try it out, the 7 to 9 tokens is the cheapest way to do it. We have feeble seeds that don't give uh, any crops and they cost one token each. If you want to go in uh, deeper, you have the Pico seeds that are 20 tokens each. I did not put the price in dollars because the the token price is uh, is blowing up. This is the price chart of the token. It keeps going up. At the time of me recording this video is $6.2 per yield token. So what I would do is check the video first through and see if you like the game. Check the token price. Check the project Discord to see for any updates that came up since I posted the video. And then with the token price in mind, do the math on how much you should bridge. After you bridge your Ethereum, click on the first link in the description of this video to create an account. It has my referral link. You have to pay guests for uh, creating an account and then you will uh, get to this uh, map. To get started, go in a uh, marketplace and you need to get some yield token. Click on DEX and select how many tokens you want to buy. You can also sell your tokens back to Ethereum here as well. It's not uh, locked in any way. And for using this, you will get faster uh, airdrop points as well. After you get your tokens, you can also just stake them into the banker if you don't want to deal with the, uh, the seed rolls. But the best uh, long-term uh, strategy would be the farming game. To buy seeds, go to vendor. I will buy nine Pico seeds in uh, this example. I will go to custom and buy nine seeds for 180 yield. Confirm. We also have to reveal them. And then we have this little fun uh, gacha roll. And I got pretty decent rolls, not the best. And I will, I will show you why. But after you get your seeds, go to farm right here, click on the soil plots and just put all your seeds into the ground before planting. So you plant all of them in one transaction. So you don't pay gas for nothing. After all of them are into the ground, let's plant them. And after a bit, you will see them into the ground. If you hover over them, you can see all the information, like uh, how much time you have left, how many locked tokens, and how many unlocked tokens you will get for each of them. And let's go through what you get by farming. First of all, we get unlocked tokens, instant liquidity. Those are very good. You can even get more than the seed cost but you will also get a lot of locked tokens. And I will go through this video how you can unlock them. We also are getting farming experience. It's this number down here. I have 1,481 at the moment. With this farming experience, we can buy uh, badges. And of course, we this is the big uh, airdrop 
the blast gold. The more experience you have, the more blast gold you will gain. And of course, you will get the crop itself, the produce. At the moment, it's uh, useless, but in the future, they will uh, implement the marketplace where you can sell your produce and cooking. A lot of fun stuff. So if you pay 20 yield and you get a potato, don't think that you lose 50% of your money because you will be able to sell that potato or cook it or uh, unlock the 25 token uh, yield in uh, the future. So yeah, it is a cash flow deficit crop, but it's still uh, profitable on the longer run. If you click on your backpack, you can see here your seeds, your crops, and your items. They will introduce like fertilizer and stuff like that pretty soon. The team is moving very fast with updates. So that's why I was suggesting you to start with seven or eight seeds, because if you get some potatoes or some common crops, you won't have enough to roll again and to get that uh, higher level uh, crops and keep rolling. So you don't want to get stuck with just three potatoes in your backpack and uh, that's it. If you look in marketplace and uh, you go to roll chances, the commons have a pretty low uh, drop rate to say so. So you are very likely to get almost all of your cash flow back and even more. Now, the big question is how can we unlock our tokens? We have implemented the Sage that unlocks 1% every week. 1% of your locked tokens. So I have a... Uh, I have at the moment uh, 1,400 tokens. If I would have the Sage, I would get uh, 14 uh, tokens per week at the moment. But you need level 10. And level 10 costs at the moment 3,000 tokens to get there. But they will introduce new ways to level up. So don't worry about the level requirement too much yet. And then you get the Wage. Wage is very cool. It's implemented recently. You need at least level 1. Leveling up to level 1 costs only 100 tokens. You unlock based on this formula. 2.5 plus 2.5 times your level. So, for example, if you are level 4, you will get 2.5 plus 2.5 times 4. So, that's 12 tokens per week. And you get those from your unlocked tokens. And they will introduce more, uh, more stuff like the NFT profile picture characters. Very important is a difference between characters and adventurers. That will be the exploration thing that they will uh, introduce. Characters will be minted on Blaze at 8 p.m. EST. That's when the whitelist will uh, open. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I think they will go for a lot of money. Not financial advice. But yeah, each NFT can uh, unlock uh, 0 0.5 weekly of your unlocked tokens. And you can stake two maximum. So they can, uh, two of those characters can uh, double your Sage uh, cash flow. And that's all we know at the moment, but more ways to, to come. Also, I would suggest you to harvest all at once so you pay less gas if you are not uh, space constrained by uh, the soil plot that you have. Also, very important, drop by in their Discord server and read the announcements. They have a lot of cool stuff coming, like the wooden daily chest, exploration, cooking, marketplace, and so on. That would be it for this video. Have fun. Legion out.